good morning and welcome back. Today we are continuing on with investigating the band called The Rose. Um, I've recently filmed um, a video for two of their songs, Sour and Sorry, um, and I would like to report back to you about those two songs and what I've been doing since recording that. Sorry has become, I'm not exaggerating, one of my most listened to songs in my iTunes library. Um, I did not anticipate that, and when I first heard Sorry, I was like, yeah, this is a good song. But then for some reason, something happened after I recorded that reaction video, and then the, the day afterwards, I just fell in love with that song. And so Sorry by The Rose is my new jam, one of my new jams. Um, I've listened to it more than almost every song in my iTunes library, as I mentioned. Um, so I thought it was worth investigating the rose further. Um, Sour was also great, but Sorry was really the song that stuck with me. So I thought today we would investigate and um, listen to Red and Beauty and the Beast. I don't know anything about these two songs. I just picked these based on the thumbnail, <laughs> and I'm going in order of oldest to most recent. So we're going to do Red first, and then we'll do Beauty and the Beast. Um, yeah, but I know nothing about them. I'm not watching these songs chronologically from the beginning, from like Sorry onwards. I'm just picking music videos that I wanted to watch so that we could watch them together and give them a try and see how we feel about the rose. So just something new to discover, hopefully. So let's get started with the music video for Red. As I always mention, I apologize for my morning voice. I've got a bit of a scratchy morning voice, and I've got um, a sinus infection, so I might sound a little bit nasally or a bit scratchy, so I apologize. Um, but yes, let's get started with the Rose Red official music video in three, two, one, play. Fireflies take 날 데려가 숨 막히는 시선 속에 비춰지는 moonlight 길을 찾아가 점점 가까이 내게 다가와 떠오르는 flashlight 빛을 따라가 쏟아지는 저 shooting star I like his little shoulder shrug. Ooh, I do like this song. Okay. And I love Usung's um, hair as well, the peachy hair. It's kind of orangey, I guess. Sort of peachy? Oh, deep V on Dojun, I think it was. Could be saying his name wrong. Ooh. Burning red in the dark. What if I'm different from the others? I do what I want. I love it. Oh, I don't want it to be over. I love his freckles. Oh. Why was that so good? Why was that so good? I love the message of the song about being different and just wanting to like be yourself and to shine. I love the message. I love 
everything about the song. Visually, the lyrics were great. They looked incredible. Their voices. I've really begun to fall in love with their voices. Um, it's very early, but I'm, I'm okay with saying that. <laughs> okay, so next up we have the Rose Beauty and the Beast official video. There are no English captions for this, so I assume there will be lyrics. So let's watch the music video, and then we'll find a lyric video for it afterwards. Um, so yes, Beauty and the Beast in three, two, one. I love how it sounds so far. It's so poignant and like emotional, it's hard to talk. <laughs> Ooh, I love their outfits. I love that it's showing all different kinds of love, like between the, the gentleman and his son as well, instead of just romantic love. I love that. I love that. <laughs> I'm going to use love a lot. 
Okay, so I found a color-coded lyric video for Beauty and the Beast. Um, again, sometimes color-coded lyric videos are not absolutely perfect, so we're going to give it a try, though. Let's see in three, two, one, play. I'm so curious to see the lyrics, because I love the emotion of the song. They look very different than what they did from Sorry, which is what I'm used to seeing. But I'm sure this is obviously years later. I think the magic will work out. I love that. It's new when I'm with you. The song is just so beautiful musically and so emotional. Even without knowing the lyrics, you can tell the emotion of the song. But it does have a very sort of victorious note at the end, it feels like. Just like in the Beauty and the Beast Disney story. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall into magic. I love that. Okay, so that was Beauty and the Beast by The Rose. It was really beautiful beauty it was beautiful obviously um and the the message of it was really sweet very sort of bittersweet as well but hopefully ending on a kind of victorious note i hope that's what i'm reading into it because i'm hopeful i'm hoping that's what the <laughs> the message was um but i loved both of these songs today they were incredible i think red probably resonated with me a little bit more just because i love the encouraging message of it um and the sort of i don't know 
lightheartedness of the music video was sort of up my up my alley for today. It just depends on the mood of the day. If it was a different day, it could have been the opposite and Beauty and the Beast could have been the one that stuck out the most. They both stuck out. They were both really incredible and wonderful. But if I had to choose a leaning towards one, I would say red is probably more my jam today, but it could change tomorrow. So who knows? Um, but yeah, I loved both of these songs. They were incredible. And I'm going to continue listening to The Rose and investigating them further. This has been wonderful. Thank you for joining me on this little investigation we've been doing. We're like detectives learning more and more about The Rose. Um, so thank you for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day so far, and if you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better. And until next time, I'll be here, and there's a very strong chance I'll be listening to the song Sorry by The Rose. So if you're playing your odds, that's probably where you want to put your money. <laughs> so, but I'll see you later.